Dark Knight of the Soul's Ego Death, the most challenging stage explained. When we mention ego death, it doesn't mean that the ego dies. Instead, it's an excellent suppression of the human ego to control your ego and not the other way around anymore. Furthermore, ego death can be defined as the experience of transcending the ego, self, or personal identity temporarily, which is one of the stages of the Dark Knight of the Soul. If you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you haven't. During the process of the Dark Knight of the Soul, a person experiences a complete transformation in their level of consciousness, and this makes it possible that after the experience, you become highly conscious of the separation that has occurred in your body system, and you notice a detachment from yourself, other people, and also the divine. You begin to see more in people's lives, more than you've visited before, and also in you. You experience a more feeling of love and greater consciousness, which helps in your spiritual growth. I believe that at this point, you would be wondering how ego death helps bounce you out of the dark night of the soul gracefully. Well, that is simple. You have to understand that the death of the ego is essentially the state where one's ego goes to die a small death to be reborn as a soul. According to Stanislav Grof, ego death means an irreversible end to one's philosophical identification. At this point, you experience a reorganization, re-identification, and a reinterpretation of the boundaries between self and cosmos. This is the period where nothing you do makes you happy. You lose focus and interest in anything, in everything, because your sense of reality has been shattered. This is when you feel like letting attachment go. In fact, some people give up on themselves and the world at large. Despite all these things you're feeling, there's always one vital thing that happens to you. You realize that your strength gets stronger, your faith becomes more profound, and you begin to feel that deep inside of you, something needs to change drastically. That change has to come quick, but you're lost because you're unable to decipher what needs to be changed or where to look so that you can achieve what you're searching for. But you have to make a move. This means you're beginning to take over your emotions. This feeling and hunger to get what you want is what causes you to take a bold step in searching for the truth. By the time you're done with the search, you notice a sudden termination, like a sudden pop of your ego bubble. And this is the point where you begin to experience less pressure on yourself. While this pressure is going down, you start to get a fresh experience, like a feeling of calmness and tranquility in your soul. Those things that often shook your emotions do not seem to matter anymore. You become more in control of your ego. This means that you've succeeded in overcoming your ego. I hope that you enjoyed the explanation. Please don't hesitate to share your thoughts and experiences in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of subsequent updates. Thanks for watching!